Hello, okay, I'm going to show you how I flatten my artwork so that it goes from looking like this to looking like this. The chances are, if you've used any kind of water-based paint on paper and you haven't stretched the paper beforehand, then you've experienced buckling. Now, this is a speeded up version of what I'm going to be showing you in this video. And as you can see, I use tape. You can use books and you can use a clamp with a piece of wood or something like this to flatten it. I love using tape because I don't need to worry about finding enough books. I don't need to worry about finding big enough books and I can flatten like multiple items at once. If I've got enough boards, I can flatten like five or six pieces of art at the same time. Um, the other reason why I think it's great is that if you've got some pencil or pastel or something on your artwork, you don't need to worry about the books or the clamps smudging the artwork because you don't put anything on the artwork. So I think this is a fantastic method. I've been using it for about seven years now and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so here we go. I've got two paintings here. Both both need flattening. As you can see, the, the paper's warped. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna show you everything you need. You need some tape and a glass of clean water. You need a big brush, big clean brush. Okay, so the tape you use is a little bit of trial and error. You need a tape that's strong enough to hold the paper, but isn't gonna pull the top of the paper off when you when you pull it off at the end. So this, you can ask at the art store as well what they would recommend. Okay, now you also need a board, a clean board, not a board you've been painting on, and a clean towel. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay my towel down flat and then I'm gonna put my um, two artworks down on the towel face down. Now I'm getting the clean water and I'm just covering the whole back of the artwork with the water. I'm getting it pretty wet. I'm not rushing it because I'm giving the, giving the uh, water time to seep into the paper. I'm doing the other one, the same to the other one. Getting it really wet. Now, in all the time I've been doing this, I've never had a problem with the water ruining the artwork on the other side. But obviously you do need to be careful not to get water on your painting. Okay, so giving that time to soak in and I'm gonna go back to the other one and put even more water on. Okay, so even though I've speeded up this part of the video, I'm taking quite a lot of time to do this. I'm not rushing it because I want to give, the, to give time for the water to seep into the artwork. This is expanding the fibers in the paper. So it means that when I tape it down, it's gonna be, the paper is gonna be expanded. So now I'm turning over the, the paintings and what I'm doing now is I'm pulling the, the paper gently in a methodical way okay so the methodical way is to go down one side and then across at a diagonal then you turn the paper around and you do it again across one side not not too strong you're just wanting to help those fibers to expand and then you pull it across again okay and then you repeat this you go down one side, across an angle twice, and then down the other side. And then across the diagonal on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other one now. Okay, so that's done now. Both of, the, both of the paintings are ready. I'm gonna get my board and I've got enough space on this board for both. So I'm gonna arrange them so that there's space around both. And now it's time to, to use the tape. So I've cut off a length of tape here and I'm just, just 
going to put it along one edge. Now I'm going to do exactly the same along another edge. I'm going to go for the opposite end and as I'm putting the tape on I'm, I'm sort of pulling the paper gently to try and get it to be as, as tight as possible. I want to try and get this um, paper down on the board so that it's flat when it goes down because as it dries it's going to contract further and if it's really tight then it's going to help, help that um, flattening effect. And I'm not, I'm not rushing this because um, the, the paper's still very wet and that there's no um, danger of it drying too quickly. Okay, so I've done the other edge and I'm gonna do the bottom now. Now, I'm gonna do the other one. So, down one edge, making sure that the tape is really firmly stuck. And then I'm gonna do the other edge. And pulling the paper a little bit as I, as I put it down. Making sure that it's really tight. And, and it's okay, you can take the tape off um, and re-stick it to really try and get it as tight as possible. If you've got the right kind of tape, then it will take this and it, it will still it will still stick fine. See, I'm doing the same on the other side. I'm, I'm re-sticking re it, pulling it across. Now, as you can see, I am touching the paper quite a bit as I do this. My hands are clean and my hands are dry. Um, if you've got pastel or other kind of medium on top, then you can use exactly the same method, but you just can't touch the surface of the painting. And again, re-sticking re that down. Sometimes what happens is the paper continues to expand as you're doing this and it doesn't go down flat. So that's why I'm lifting the tape off and repeating it. And now I'm gonna finish it off by doing the top. So the, these are done now. They're pretty flat, I'm happy with these. And I'm just running my finger along the tape to make sure that it's really stuck down. Not on the paper, more along the edge. To make it sure it's really well stuck down onto the board. Okay, so these are, these are both done now. All I need to do is just wait. I'm gonna leave them overnight. Right, here we go. These have been left overnight, so they're completely dry. And all I need to do now is carefully take the tape off. Okay, so there you go. They're both completely flat. Now, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, just leave a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you. And if you want to see similar videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.